Good to be back in the saddle again as we are talking sectional championships this weekend. Actually, in one case, we've got a regional championship being yes. played here in the Summit City this Friday. Tom Davis from the News Sentinel, Glenn Marini from Wayne TV. Thanks for logging on to Wayne.com. And, and Tom, let's start off right at the top. 6A, a huge game as far as not only 6A across the state goes, but in the history of Carroll football. This could be a monumental win as they host Carmel for a, uh, for a regional championship this Friday night at Dean Gorsuch Field. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really interesting because it's kind of a new power in Carroll taking on the old school power in Carmel. Carmel's played for five state championships since 2006, so obviously they have a great deal of tradition. Although Carroll has won their second sectional championship in a row. And this is kind of the same situation Carroll found themselves in last year. They were facing a Penn team, and nobody thought they could go up to Penn and beat Penn, the tradition-rich Kingsman, and they found a way to do it 14-13. So can Carroll get enough of a passing game to accentuate that great running game and knock off the uh, really balanced uh, Carmel Greyhounds? Well, we'll find out. And when you talk about Carmel, they play, their record in 8-3 and three is somewhat deceptive because of the right. powerhouses they play. They lost one early in the season uh, to Louisville Trinity. That is a national power. Uh, they also lost to Center Grove, who's 10-1, and one, still alive, and also Ben Davis. Not, not a bad loss right. on the schedule yeah. if you're the Carmel Greyhounds. They're used to being in this situation. As you mentioned, Carroll was here last year. But how much does that pedigree play into it, or is it just throw that all out the window on a Friday night at this point of the year? I think once you get stuck by a linebacker one time going across the middle, then all that pedigree stuff goes out the window. The, the thing that Carroll really needs to do, obviously they run the ball. They, they focus on the tranquils. They average over 330 yards rushing. But Carmel, obviously with 161 players on their roster, they have the depth, they have the talent, they have the ability, the skill, the speed, everything you need to really shut down what you want to do. So you're going to have to go to your plan B. And that's kind of the recurring theme of this entire Inside the Zone this week. Mm -hmm. The teams with a balanced offense that can go to their plan B will be much more successful than the teams that really ride one way uh, of producing. And if that that's taken away, then you're really in trouble. With Carroll, you know, I would have said they, they might be in trouble if you take away that running game. But then last week, Chandler Boggs, five touchdowns against Warsaw, really threw the ball up effectively. They've got some good receivers. They've got a good offensive line that can protect Chandler Boggs some. So I really think that Carroll will get their running game curtailed to a degree. They're not going to rush for 300, 330 yards, whatever, against Carmel. That's just not going to happen. They're going to have to find ways through an effective quarterback play, special teams, and defense forcing some turnovers in order to have a chance against Carmel. But it's only going to be a chance because Carmel is really, really good. Yeah, they are. This sounds like a really dumb statistic. When I was looking at the numbers, if Carroll scores 40 or more, they've won every game this year. The right. two games they did not score 40 was a 35 in a loss uh, and then a uh, 7 in a loss to uh, East Noble, and the other loss was to New Haven. So uh, that sounds like a dumb. If they score more than no, 40, they win. No, but, it's not. But that's a dumb. the cutoff. Yeah, it's not a dumb statistic because a lot of teams score 40, but all, they also give up 40. Carroll's defense has been really good this year. So what they've been able to do is score 50 actually, and still shut down the other team. I don't know if they can really shut down Carmel's offense. Carmel has a really balanced offense with a really effective quarterback. John Lamps, a senior quarterback, uh, he's completing 62% of his passes, nine touchdown passes, but only one interception. So he's been really, really efficient this year. And Carmel also obviously can run the ball, and they have about 15 different offensive linemen that they can roll out at you that are just huge. So I don't know if Carroll's defense can shut Carmel completely down. Nobody does that. But I think that Carroll's defense is good enough to hold its own with Carmel's offense.